my niece that got out the window and went and called 911 is, of course, always going to be a hero for her brothers and sisters. She had the guts to do that, and I can't wait till I can hug her and tell her how proud I am of her for doing that. Have you been able to talk to any of them since the arrest? Yeah, I talked to um, the six youngest. How were they going? Oh, it was great. That was the best phone conversation I've ever had in my life. The most open conversation I've had with those kids ever in their whole lives because she wasn't there to stop them. And it was so amazing to me because they seemed very happy to be where they were. I know that. That tickled me because that's what I wanted to hear. I wanted them to tell me out of their own mouths that they were happy where they were at. What do you think the future holds for them? I don't know what it holds for them, but I know, I know what I hope. I hope that they always have a happy home and I hope that they never have to go through anything like that ever again. And I pray and hope and hope and pray that they can go on to have their own families and not treat them like that and be normal citizens. Because I worry about the older ones because she took so much of that time from them that they don't even now know where to go, what to do. Be nice for the abuse to stop there with right. your sister, wouldn't it? Right. That's a scary thing. You've got 13 kids. You wonder, is one of them going to carry that on too? You know, it's scary. I hope not. I know she's tried to call you from prison multiple times, and you haven't taken the call. I took one because I just wanted to say some things and get it off my chest to her. What did you say to her? I just told her that there was not an excuse in the world. There was nothing she could tell me. She was begging me to come see her, her and David. She wanted me to, she said she had nobody. She, want, she said she wanted to sit say, uh, face to face with me so she could explain everything. And I just told her to be quiet and listen to me for a minute that I was, I just had to say something, get it off my chest. I just let her know that no matter what she said, it didn't matter what she said, it didn't matter what reason, excuse, nothing in the world she could give me to make that okay. That I just wanted her to know that any explanation in the world's not gonna do for me. Like, there's nothing you can tell me to make this okay. It's not okay, no matter what. I don't care, I don't care, nothing's okay about it. How did she take that? I, she acted like I didn't even say it. Like she's living in a fantasy world. Like she acted like she did not even hear the words coming out of my mouth. She continued to beg me to come see her and, and tell me how much she wanted to see me and how much she wanted to explain to me and please go see David too. And you know, it was like I didn't even say anything to her. Like she didn't even hear what I said. So she's in complete denial. Oh yeah, she's in denial, I think. Her and David are both dead to me. I've said that more than once. I mean it. I feel like the sister I knew is dead and gone. I will never know her as my sister Louise again. 